Firefighters back on the front lines as the massive creek fire burns for another day. This is burning in both Fresno and Madera counties. The fire has scorched more than 175,000 acres. It is still 0% contained, burning out of control. More than 360 structures have been destroyed. And tonight, many residents are wondering if their homes are still standing. We have live team coverage tonight. CBS 47 Jocelyn Moran has an update from Madera County. But first, we begin with CBS 47's Madera's Babb. She joined us live from the command center in Toll House with how things look there. Madera's. Well, Ken and Catherine, today I took a drive in the south part of the fire just to show you where that is. It's right down off of 168 in this area that I am pointing out. It's an area that many firefighters are concerned about because of the northeast winds coming in. And today, after several miles in, I was quite surprised. A homeowner's worst nightmare. Dozens of houses and cabins completely decimated near Aubrey and Music Farms Road. Take a look at this bench left at this one house. It reads, I like to walk with grandma and grandpa. Their steps are short like mine. They never say now hurry up. They're always taking their time. Most people have to hurry. They never stop to see. I'm so glad that God made grandparents unrushed and young like me. Pine Ridge School and a handful of homes in the same neighborhood stand tall. Uh, we're trying our best and we'll continue to do our best over the coming days to try to wrap this fire as, as fast as possible and protect every home that we can. Um, but that's not always the case. This home saved. The backyard was not. There are dozens of vehicles. Most of them have been destroyed. Take a look at the char on the outside, the melted tires, the shattered glass, and the insides completely destroyed. Farther down the road, Meadow Lakes and the Mono Winds Casino appear to be okay for now, but firefighters with a lot on their plates. The rate of spread of this fire, it's just, it's just too fast for us to uh, really get a good containment line going. Now, just taking a look at the fire, the wind's the biggest problem, and they are trying to get a containment, but what's happening is it's spreading too fast, so they have to move back their containment lines and then hope that they hold for 24 hours. For now, reporting live, Madeira's Bab, CBS 47, Eyewitness News.